Welcome back to Concepts. With our new app update, I'll show you how I started with my frame template drawing and how I will copy one of the frames and then paste it onto another drawing. So for my first example, let's go to my second frame template. So the two types of frames are in separate layers. I want to select the marker frames, the bottom one here. And in this new pop-up or bubble menu, there's the option to copy. Then I'm going to get out of this drawing and back onto my gallery. And within this project, I want to choose the house render drawing that I just did recently. To double check what you have selected, just go to the import menu and you'll see your object in the clipboard area. A little something to note for this new feature, when you paste an object onto another drawing, it actually gets pasted onto its own layer. So with the selection tool in use, I can tap on an empty space and the paste pop-up option will come up. So now it's like any other object that we can stretch and rotate into place. My strokes got a little thin when I scaled them up, so I'm just going to reselect and in adjust mode, I'll go into the size slider on the left and slide it up for thicker strokes. And I think that looks good. Okay, for our second example, let's go to my other frame template drawing. Let's select one of these cityscape frames. One layer is the grayscaled and the other is the colored frames. So I want to use the gray cityscape on the left here. And in my gallery this time, I want to paste this onto an image I imported. This is an image of the Bay Bridge in San Francisco that I took. So I thought the cityscape frame would go really well with this image. Okay, you can paste your objects in two ways. You can tap at an empty area for the menu to pop up, or you can also go to your import menu and tap on the clipboard image thumbnail of your object. They'll both paste your object onto your drawing. Okay, I'm just placing this frame to the right crop that I think looks good. My photo isn't the perfect size for my frame, but no worries. Let me go to the layer that contains that image and I'll just erase the excess parts. With my eraser, I'm using the line precision tool at its thickest stroke size. I'm simply erasing the left side here. And I think that looks great. I hope this tutorial helped you get familiar with copy and paste. Please like, comment, or share this tip. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much for watching.